Hello everyone. We learned all the prerequisites for creating a mapping. We saw how to work on various sources and targets. Now we'll see how to work and create a mapping and add transformations using input and output ports. Please note that we have not yet worked on the transformation developer. We'll be using a transformation developer as this is an advanced feature. We'll be looking at that later in our section. To understand the basic concepts of creating a mapping, we'll first create a simple pass-through mapping. A pass-through mapping inserts all the source rows into target without any modification. We'll simply pick a source and a target, and we'll try to pass the data from the source to the target. To implement the same, we'll be using EMP file as source and EMB file as target. If you recall, in the previous video we imported EMB file as source, and we created that file as the Oracle table by using generate and execute SQL feature. Let's begin working on the mapping. To create a mapping, Please remember you need three basic fundamental components. First one is source. Second is target. Third is transformation, which is optional. When you're creating a simple pass-through mapping, you simply need a source and target. We can use the navigator section to reuse the source and the target components into the mapping. The source and the target can be used multiple times in multiple mappings as reusable components. To start, select the mapping designer which is the fifth tab, which is beside Source Analyzer and Target Designer. From the toolbar, click on Mapping and select Create. We'll first provide a name to our first mapping, M underscore Pass underscore Through. If you're working in an organization, try to get the naming convention with what your organization follows. Click on OK. Now, a mapping with the name M underscore Pass underscore Through is created under our repository. From Navigator, select Source EMB File. Simply drag and drop the source into the workspace. As soon as you drag and drop the source from the navigator in the workspace mapping designer, you'll see two components appearing in the workspace. One is a source file that we created in Source Analyzer. The other is a default transformation called Source Qualifier. It's automatically created along with the source. We'll learn in detail why Source Qualifier appears here. For now, just understand that it's a default transformation which will always be present with any type of source you work on. Always make sure that you can see all the components of source and transformation. Also, drag the target from the navigator into the workspace. Now properly arrange the components. As you can clearly see, column names in source, target, and transformation are the same. We're referring to this as pass-through mapping. That's because we're not doing any modification into the mapping. As you can see, source has these black dotted points. These are referred to as output ports, and these are input ports. The output of a transformation is an input of a target. Simply put, a source does not have input ports, and because the target is the last component, it does not have an output. What we need to do is link this employee from source qualifier, which is a default transformation, to the employee ID into target. Through these blue links, the data flows from source to the source qualifier and to the target. Select employee ID from source qualifier. Simply drag and drop it to the target employer ID. Do not drop these columns here. As you can see, it will not take it in. Select and drag it inside. Now drag all the columns. If by mistake you link it to the wrong column, simply select the link and press the delete button on your keyboard. You can also select multiple columns in the source qualifier and link them to target at a time. We've simply created a source source qualifier, and target. We've dragged source and target from the navigator. We also associated links with target. With this in mind, we've created a pass-through mapping. Press Control S on your keyboard to save your mapping. As you can see, the mapping M underscore pass underscore through is valid. If you do something that's not correct, Informatica will show you that your mapping is invalid. But of course we do not see the message because everything is correct. Let's take a look at an example where your mapping would be invalid. Select all the links. Press the delete button. Now try to see if you get the same message. Now it'll tell you that your mapping is invalid. You can also read that the reason is because mapping must have at least one loadable target. You can also see that a navigator shows a red mark. This indicates that the mapping is not valid. To make it valid again, select all the columns, drag to the target, and save. Now we've successfully validated the mapping. Excellent! In this video, we learned how to create a mapping and add sources and targets into a mapping. 